In this video, I am going to show you how to enable port forwarding and DMS configuration in SHAR AS341DX ONT router. As part of configuration, we need to find the IP of the router. First, we need to connect the router directly to the PC or the network. Then, find the IP of the gateway using ncpa.cpl command. Here we can see the gateway IP is 192.168.1.1. This is our router IP. Use the web browser and type the IP 192.168.1.1. Then log in with the username and password. Default login is admin and the password is password. Need to enter the verification code for login. Once after login, we need to verify we are having public IP from the network provider. For verifying the public IP, we can check status. Here we can see the public IP. For confirming the public IP, we can type show my public IP. Both IP should be same. Then only we are having the public IP from the provider end. Then I am downloading a testing application for verifying the port forwarding. In that purpose, I am using HFS HTTP file server. We need to change the port number of HSF server. Here I am using 8080. Unfortunately, this is in DHCP. So we need to fix the IP from the server itself using MAC address reservation. I am going to reserve the IP from network and then go to the LAN IP address then IPv4 configuration here we can see edit reserved IP address and adding the MAC address of same PC the MAC address we can easily take it from IP config command and just copying the MAC address and put the IP as reserve. In this scenario, even we are restarting multiple times, the server IP will not be changed because it is reserved from the DHCP itself. Once after adding, we can close the window, then save and apply. Then go to the application and find the NAT configuration. Here we are doing the port forwarding or virtual server configuration. By default, router comes with so many configurations. If we if we are going to use the same, we can use that one. Instead of this one, we can do the customized service. That means define a service option. Put the name of service. Here I am using web and type the IP of the server. That is 192.168.1.5. Then enable the service. Internet IP address means if we are having multiple public IP, we can use that one. In that purpose, I am not using. And type the port, starting port of external and ending port of the external. Here we are using 8080. So I am typing both as 8080. And protocol we can use either TCP or UDP or we can use both. In this purpose, we are using TCP and type the internal server IP that means which is the IP we are having the server 192.168.1.5 and type the port here we need to type the starting of internal port the external will be automatically added if we are having any port range we need to type only the starting port the ending port automatically taken from the external port range then press the save and apply button now we can see the port forwarding is enabled we can verify with our server. Show my IP address. Now we can see the IP address. Then copy the IP address. Then paste. Use the port with the colon. Now we are able to access from the outside. If you want to delete, select the port forwarder policy. Then press the delete button. If you want to enable the DMS, go to the application. Then press the DMS configuration. Then enable. Then type the IP of DMS server. Then save and apply. Accept the port forwarder port 
rest all the port will be forwarded to the DMS at server. If you are having any port forwarding in the NAT configuration, rest all the port will be forwarded to that particular server. Thank you for watching this video. If you like the video, please press the like button, share and subscribe.